This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers for their new movie Dr. Sleep in theaters this Thursday. Psychics. People who use extrasensory perception to access information hidden from the normal senses. Usually used to predict the future, speak to spirits, and communicate with lost loved ones. Psychics have existed since the dawn of humanity, often referred to as prophets or healers. With common examples being Christian biblical figures Samuel and Elijah, and the founder of Mormonism, Joseph Smith. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm going to be sitting down with psychics to learn the truth behind this elusive way of life. Have psychics genuinely been gifted with the ability to defy the natural laws of space and time to see into the future? Or are they simply capitalizing on the naive's willingness to believe what they're told? Are psychics genuinely trying to connect people with lost loved ones as a means to heal and find closure? Or are they simply money-hungry con artists consuming people for everything they're worth during their emotionally vulnerable grieving process? Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hi, Megan. Hi. Colby. Hi there. Thank you so much for coming out and teaching me about the wondrous world of psychics. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me. So what do you consider yourself, a psychic, a medium? I'm both. I'm a psychic medium, so I do both. I'm an evidential psychic medium. Evidential yes. psychic medium. The evidential part is important. It means that I bring evidence forward that you can validate. Before we learn more about the wondrous world of psychics, I thought, you know what? It's time. I'm going to tell you more about the new film, Dr. Sleep, thanks to our marvelous sponsor, Warner Brothers. Stephen King's Dr. Sleep continues the story of Danny Torrance 40 years after his horrifying experience in the Overlook Hotel in The Shining. Danny, who's been dealing with the emotional trauma he endured as a child in the hotel, encounters Abra, who fearlessly embraces her shine and encourages Danny to call upon his own power causing him to reawaken the ghost of the past and return to the Overlook Hotel to face his own fears once and for all. Ewan McGregor, Rebecca Ferguson, and Kylie Coran star in this supernatural thriller by Mike Flanagan based on his screenplay, based on the novel by Stephen King. Click the link down in the description to watch the final trailer for Dr. Sleep and get your tickets now for its release on November 8th. And that's all I had to say. Now back to learning about the wondrous world of psychics. What does being a psychic entail? I'll use like things like tarot cards, pendulums, things like that because I feel so I have clairsentience, I have claircognizance which is just a knowing that just sort of comes. Uh -huh. um, clairvoyance which is seeing. You they, clearly hear things, you clearly see things, correct. you clearly feel things. Yes. So the hearing, the seeing, the knowing, the feeling, it's that but heightened. So mm -hmm. that's what creates that ability for that connection. How long have you been a psychic? My whole life, really, since I was a child. My whole life. Your whole uh, life? You were just born with it? Actually, I was a wrestler. <laughs> you were a wrestler? <laughs> and this is no joke, true story. You were a wrestler. Professional wrestler, like a WWF style wrestler. Whoa, sick. <laughs> when did you first realize that you were a psychic? When I was in my 20s, I thought I was going crazy. Whoa. Yeah. Because you were seeing images and feelings yeah, of spirits? Yeah, and like feeling things, smelling things, hearing things. You would like, smell things that you, that you were not around? Yeah, like someone baking something or like cologne. Is being a psychic something that can be learned or is it something that you're just born with? So I think everybody has this connection. Mm. So everybody has intuitive abilities. Not everybody pays attention to it and not everybody's as sensitive to it. You're just the middleman. Yes, point. right, as medium. Me? Yeah. I never <laughs> put two and two together. Medium, you're yeah. in the middle, you're mm -hmm. the middleman. Mm -hmm. How is your daily life as a psychic different than the average person? Because I do take on a lot of energies and a lot of people's problems. I have clients come to me with problems all the time. You feel all that I feel all of up? that. Not only do I have my personal problems and my personal things going on in my life, I have everyone else's to deal with as well. Mm -hmm. You're very, very sensitive. You may be sensitive to the energy of other people, right? Like if someone's really sad or upset, 
I may start to feel sad or upset and not knowing that that wasn't me, not realizing that's not me, that I'm picking up on someone else. So you'll just have mood swings and you're not sure why or what's going on where you got that? As you develop and hone, yeah. you start to recognize, wait a second, I'm, I'm picking up on someone else. Do you proudly tell people that you're a psychic or is that something that you keep more of a secret? I really aim to just be authentically me and yeah. so that's a part of me and I don't have a problem telling people that. For me, it was a big battle kind of coming out of that closet. Uh -huh. But once I did, I thought, well, I'm never hiding again. Do you find that people are typically skeptical of your psychic abilities? A skeptic is someone who just wants something proven to them. But they're open to listening and hearing, even if they're uncertain. A cynic is someone who refuses to even listen because they're already judging. They're already so set that you can't. So I never mind reading for a skeptic. I never mind, it, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you think you'd be able to recognize if someone else were faking or? If I was in the same room with someone giving someone else a reading and I was able to pick up on that same person, yeah, I would know if they were fake. How can you tell when someone's yeah. faking? If it's evidential. For me, that's what I'm looking for, evidential. Uh -huh. So can they validate it? Um, or are they doing a cold reading? Are they looking at a person and just judging off of what they look like? Mm. You know, that's not what I do. Do you consider that to be fake or sc a scam? I don't like when people um, take advantage of people, especially um, when it comes to this sort of work because there's people that are in bereavement and um, you could do a lot of damage to somebody. And so it's really important to understand the ethics that comes with this work mm -hmm. and the responsibility. How has being a psychic shaped your perception of life and death? And I definitely know now and just knowing that there is an afterlife. Mm -hmm. Like we are a soul in a human body. Like, we're not a human body with a soul, we're a soul oh, with a real human quick, body. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then the spirit world said, not today. Does that normally happen? Very rarely. Yeah, they like to mess with uh, videos and things like that. Spirits! <laughs> we're trying to get <laughs> done. How do you know what you're predicting is true? I don't. You don't know what you're no, predicting is true I or don't. not? All I can do is trust the information that comes forward yeah. and to know it's not my mind because I've tried my best to move it out of the way. Why do you think there's often such a controversial opinion about psychics and mediums in our society? Maybe fear, right? There's a fear of how can someone know all of this or yeah. how can it be true? Uh -huh. And I think it's just a fear. Jay Ronnie wants to know if you can see spirits clearly. And if so, do they look like ghosts or normal people? Um, sometimes I can only sense their energy. Like I'll yeah. sense an energy around me. I'm actually sensing something over here. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I am. So anyways. Oh yeah, anyways, that's fine. There's just a spirit <laughs> in the room with us right now. It's okay, they're always in the room with me. Since we're talking about The Shining and Dr. Sleep today. Okay. I wanna know, what do you think the shine is and how does that pertain to you as a psychic? I think the things that they're talking about as far as like premonitions, astral travel, telepathy, things like yeah. that are totally real. Maybe that shine too is someone who has the ability to tap into a power that is beyond our physical realm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I believe that really is the shine. In the film Doctor Sleep, Danny uses his gift of the shine to give comfort to dying people. Have you ever experienced anything like that in your time as a psychic? Yes, because I do um, trance healing also. It's a form of energy healing uh -huh. where I basically um, try to move out of the way and let the spirit world or like a specifically a, a healing guide mm -hmm. or a doctor guide work mm -hmm. through me to use their energy to work through my body to provide that energy healing. Diego Antonio Pena Leon wants to know if you've ever used your psychic abilities for something like winning the lottery. No, I wish, I totally wish is I would be like, when it was like up to a billion, I would be a billionaire right now. Why do you think psychics are typically more associated with women? Women naturally, just based on history, 
tend to be more sensitive, right? Mm. More emotional. Now, some of that is society because we're allowed to be. Right. Men have been trained to not show emotion, to not cry, to yeah. not to. So men have literally had to shut down that empathetic nature in them, which would allow them to tune in more. Growing up, that would happen with me. People would see me being emotional. They would say, stop. Yep. You know, someone in, at school would be like, oh, what's what's wrong, huh? You yeah. a girl? And yeah. it was, as a kid, you kind of are trained to feel like, as a male, I cannot feel emotion. You suppress it, so you're suppressing that gift. What do you think the biggest misconception surrounding psychics is? A lot of people think a psychic is really woo-woo and oh, yeah. and, and you know, that kind of airy. Yeah. And that's that's not true. I mean, yeah. I have a very, I have a lot of hobbies. I have a, yeah. a great, amazing life. I have great friends. So you're or not woo-woo. I'm not that kind of woo-woo. I'm not yeah. an airy fairy woo-woo. Woo-woo, <laughs> not woo-woo or oh-woo. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a parting gift for you. Oh. Best interviewer shirts. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, you can get this at padildoshop.com. But you know what? For you, that's free. That's free today, okay? Yeah. Anthony's grandma just told me you should subscribe to his channel. What, grandma? You said you want them to hit the notification bell so they're always notified when new videos come out? Oh, great, thanks, grandma. All right, you got five seconds to shout out or promote anything you want directly in the camera, go. Find me at meganalisamedium.com or she's got a rebel heart on IG. Follow me on social media at psychicrebel, colbyrebel.com. Definitely go visit my website, www.psychicmedium.com. Jenny.com. Thank you, Megan. I feel Thank like you. I fully understand <laughs> the wondrous world of psychics. A little too much now. After spending the day with these psychics, I've come to realize just how passionate they are about helping people understand the world on a deeper level than what our five senses can provide. While I may personally still feel skeptical of the true power of psychic abilities, I think it's safe to say there's much about this world we still don't understand. And in a society where we find security knowing what happens next or what our lost loved one is feeling, who are we to blame psychics for providing people with just that? See you later, bye guys. Press a like. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. I don't, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I typically say I'm, I'm uh, skeptical and uh, I probably will still say it at the end of this video, but woo! <laughs> This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers for their new movie Dr. Sleep in theaters this Thursday.